This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Welcome my back here with another episode of Resident Evil Zero. In the last episode, we had to fight a, a giant fucking scorpion and other such things. And, uh, well, Billy and Rebecca seem to be working together, so let's continue on. Uh, I had to, uh, had to, um, I had to redo this section earlier uh, to get to this point because uh, uh, it's a power outage. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. But look, I was somewhat able to recreate my conditions at this point. The only problem is that Rebecca is now at uh, zero at this point. Or she's in uh, danger mode because she got hurt. Got hit a couple more times by some dogs more than I expected, which is kind of annoying. But So I'm going to go ahead and use that. I guess I'll just leave that. Let me go ahead and uh, take some inventory out of Billy since we're going to need him to hookshot the... Uh, um. Actually, I need to take advantage of this... Uh, um, well, let me go ahead and give her the knife, just because someone do something with the knife. Um, I need to take advantage of the uh, the leave system. I don't know if I mentioned that uh, yet. It's basically um, you basically just plop an item on a location, and so it doesn't get discarded. It just gets left, like left. And that's it. So it's there. I don't know if I don't know. I don't think. Uh, let me look at the map. Let me see if minor items pop up on the map. I don't think they do, but I'll double check just to see. Okay, it does if I've picked them up and dropped them. Because if I leave an item, like bullets or something like that, and never picked them up, um, then it doesn't recall that item, which is weird. Let me see if uh, going to another floor mentions that or not. I assume it highlights the first item you see. Yeah, it's not even popping up the shotgun, despite the fact that I've seen it. So yeah, you had to have picked it up and... Um, does it even show the briefcase either? Yeah, it shows the so it, it shows quest specific items, but if it's if you haven't dropped it yourself, it's not gonna show like the shotgun or anything like that. So, all right, so we just know that that's there. So if I need to save, we'll get back to it. So for now, we're gonna go up this way. Yeah, remember this thing through a window you see broken layer. It's of no use. It's no use. But anyway, we gotta use the newly acquired hook shot for this. So I'm trying to remember. I could swear the hook shot has like another function somewhere later on in the game. So it's one of those, I think it's one of those that you want to not have on you at all times, but find a decent spot to drop it at so you can, um, yeah, we have to have Billy come back here again. As far as I know, I don't think Rebecca is, like, physically strong enough to go into the rain like this. So, uh, down below. Excellent. Let's jump through the crack and break our mother's back and have a fun zombie there. I probably could have knifed him. Oh, wait, no, I don't have the knife. I dropped it. But luckily, oh, I was about to say, luckily it goes down a couple of shots, but those would be lies. We set on a, well, we set on a thing of lies. Lies. Same with someone's blood, perhaps one of the passengers. Perhaps Chris's blood? No, wrong. That's later on in the series. <laughs> That's the next game. Um, okay, so we got a ring box. A strong wind is blowing from outside. What's that picture? Oop. We get a, another knife for ourselves, if we had the room. A picture of a mother holding a baby. A baby, you say. The room is furnished with a single bed. It's soaked from the rain. Let me go ahead and drop, for now, I'm going to drop the um, hook shot, but we'll come back for that later. Because I could swear there's like an item you could only get if you bring the hook shot all the way to a point in the game. I could be wrong, but it's been like forever. So um, let's examine the ooh, ah, ring box. Holding jewelry. Yes, I want to open it. <gasps> a ring? Just for me? Well, I will marry you, game. Uh, no, it's a silver ring. As you might have hold it probably goes it goes in the briefcase that we left behind. So, and the knife will... I think I'll pick it up and then I'll... Uh, oops. I want to pick it up and drop it so that way it's in our, it's in our, like, map inventory, if that makes sense. So that way it shows up when we look at the map. Plus, I think usually the game only gives us an extra item if there's a specific reason, like a duplicate item, if there's a reason that they might want us to have it. Yep, of course, the, the leech, slug, amphibian things break out. I think I know where this pops this out at, if I'm correct. Yep, and uh, of course the knife is to to try and attack those uh, leech thingies. But uh, 
because we don't want to waste bullets on that. And if you bring your AI companion, unless you turn their uh, shooting off, they'll uh, start wasting bullets on them. I think this ties in. I think this ties into the roof area. I wonder. No, I think. Do I have enough room for it to? No, I'd have to drop something or get the briefcase and uh, and uh, drop it. But yeah, this will take us to if we go down the aisle thing here. Probably best not even to me mess with the uh, leeches, really, when you think about it. There should be the shotgun room here. Yep, uh, and the spray and everything. There's the bullets. Actually, let me grab. Let me grab this just so, I, like I said, so I can just leave it. Yeah. Pops it there. Let me grab the bullets. Same with any with the bullets. Oh, I didn't actually read the description for them. Yeah, we can examine them. Big old case of bullets. Don't it? What does it say? Q38D target short total. Hmm. Twelve gauge shotgun shells. Heck yeah. Alright, let's leave those. Although, God forbid you ever have a real good reason to drop ammo in this game. Alright, I have to drop something else. Well, it shows the shotgun ammo, so I could probably just leave that as is. And what we need now is to go back and get that uh, briefcase. Because those rings go in that, if I recall. Alright, uh, nope. Oh, yes. Well, actually, this probably is the fastest way. These are the fastest times, they say. I'm just trying to decide who I want to give the shotgun to. I'll probably give it to Billy and give maybe all the... Um, I don't want to completely get rid of the ammo, but at some point you almost have to kind of designate certain characters to certain weapons. Um, like given, like, or maybe give her, if you want, maybe give a Rebecca the, uh, the um, shotgun. Because shotgun is one of those weapons you want to keep throughout the whole throughout most of the game because it's a good powerhouse weapon for early game before you start getting the crazy weapons. But I don't know if I examined this last time. I don't think I did, but it's a briefcase. There appears to be two locks. There are two holes that look as if they fit some kind of round object, which we read that note saying something's inside of it. I have a pretty good idea. So if we combine the two, we form Captain Planet. No, we uh, form. Although I think if I go out this way, I'm trying to remember if there are any monster respawns happen around here. Actually, probably the best place to probably drop the, uh, um, best place to drop the, uh, um, uh, ink ribbons is probably the safe room, just because you know that's where you're going to go back to. If I really wanted to conserve ammo, I'd try to, uh, I'd try to attack things with the dagger, or the knife, but I'm not very good at that. I wonder if any of these guys respawn. Oh no, I, that's right. They do respawn, but I killed them off screen because I wasn't paying attention to getting back to the old point, so I went a bit forward, and there were two zombies, and we killed them, so sorry for not showing that, folks. That's the problem with like having to redo a section without really realizing it. Uh, okay, so we need to put ourselves back together. Let's go! Okay. And go get that other gem, or, uh, ring, or the ring that we left in that uh, dog place. I'm trying to remember how I did this last time. It's been so long, and I never, I didn't play, I haven't played the remake, to, the remaster till now. I played the old GameCube game back in the day, and I don't know I beat it. I, I know I had some trouble with it in certain parts, but overall, not too bad. But I'm trying to remember how I, I dealt with ammo and stuff like that. And it's one of those things you just kind of don't recall. Because those are su such minor details that you're like, how, how would I have done it back in the day? But yeah, I need to... Grab the gold ring. Oh, I probably should have just had Billy in the group so I didn't have to mess with exchanges and stuff like that. Oh well. Alright, Billy, do the honors. Combine. Oh yeah, I didn't. No, I showed it off last time, I think. Oh no, I looked at it, but I didn't actually grab it. And it's a gold ring with a lion's face on it. Oops. Combine. Combine the crap, man. Alright. Let's uh, now open this thing. Open sesame. Ta-da! What's this whole thing holding? The card. A little tiny card that probably if you shook it well enough, you probably could have gotten it out of the bag. Or guess what? We probably could have cut the bag with the knives and opened it. Eh, whatever. There's something inside. Because, yeah, it's, it's standard leather, right? I, I mean, yeah, it's hard to cut through 
a knife with the leather, but we could have done it if we really want to. I know, it's the point of the game and bloody bloody bloody. We got uh it's key cards used to unlock the electronic door to the lead to the lead car. Yep. Okay. So now we need to go back to the front there. I'm trying to remember I think Well, I know we'll need some of this, so I'm just trying to remember what to Oh yeah, I probably should equip the put the gun back on the Billy for helping me purposes. Let's see, he's almost out of ammo too. Yeah, we'll have to get that shotgun and just uh, give it to have Billy equipped it, I think. Let me go ahead and... Actually, probably... Uh, hold on. Split up. Roger. I'll just leave her in here. Hopefully she doesn't get attacked. I'm going to go grab those bullets, those shotgun bullets, so I can grab the shotgun, just in case. So I don't know any better. Luckily, luckily this game, I think because of the backtracking, I remember the game being um, not super long, but then again, most of the Resident Evils aren't super long when you think about it. Usually you can beat them in like five to ten hours, maybe even less, depending. At least back in the day. I'm just going to grab them and then just drop them so I, I'm aware that it's, it's um, yeah, leave it on, have it on the map, basically. Because I don't think the... Uh, gas tank popped up on that thing either, so it's uh salmon? Oh it's got three charges, huh? It's filled with gasoline. It's filled with gasoline. Maybe I can use it three times. But we'll drop that too. I th now I'm trying to remember what that's for. Is that is that for, supposed to be for the flamethrower? Hmm. But anyway. Oh yeah, let me wait, does the bottle pop up on the map? Whoops. Didn't mean to I'm glad the loads are pretty seamless between the swapping of characters. Any other, most other games would probably just, you know, actually I think on the GameCube is actually pretty smooth too because the, the technology that they used for the disc there is, I think they were the mini disc, was it because so it could access the data faster or something? Uh, examine. You might be able to use this as a weapon if you fill it with something. Oh, well, if we fill it with the gasoline. Um... Uh, Okay, so that's how you do. You turn you turn them into Molotovs, huh? I could swear the gasoline could have been used for something else. Huh? Yeah, I guess not. All right, let me leave those and then grab the gasoline. Come on, grab it. Of course, I'm gonna find out later on we could use the gasoline for something else. But yep, we turn them into. A uh, rather primitive weapon, capable of dealing massive damage to certain types of enemies. Hmm. Yeah, we turn them into, uh... Oops, sorry, Molotov cocktails. Yep, a classic... A classic item in, uh... In, uh... Any type of game. We'll leave those for now, though. i grab those bullets. Probably just end up dropping the knife. I can't do something with a knife. Oh, yeah, did I ever show attacking with a knife? There's actually two different ways. Like, you can tell Billy's kind of somewhat aware of how knives, well, at least most knives work, you know. You slash, not so much a stabbing weapon, even though you can. There are certain knives you can do that with, like, um, uh, like dirks and stuff like that, because they're designed specifically for stabbing. But no, most knives are meant for slashing. But uh, Rebecca, she has a different... <laughs> she she fights differently, let's just say that. She slashes downwards, while Billy slides, slashes to the side, she slashes kind of that. It almost makes you wonder if she's kind of used to using knives. Oh, I guess she does. She stabs and uh, that, if you, just if you do it normally. Not too bad, but you can tell she has a different fighting style from Billy. This way. Okay. Alright, come on, Billy. I mean, I guess it would conserve his ammo if... Uh, if I use the knife, even though you can just changes him to not attack, but all right. Oh, and the I'll go check over there. Yeah. The guns upstairs. I'll I'll separate them because I don't want I don't want to mess with changing character tactics if I can help it. I'm gonna pass these uh, leeches. 
Sneeches, leeches with sneeches on their bellies. Or whatever. Yeah, we can leave that for now. Sometimes I tend to semi forget like which rooms without having to look over the maps what I what I need to check. Yeah, you can just step on these guys, really. I mean, they do damage if they jump on. If I remember correctly, they jump on you. They'll do a little bit of damage. They only be major if you leave them on. But as soon as you leave, like the area, they'll uh, um, uh, they'll they'll automatically be knocked off. So. What do I want to drop? Uh, I guess I could drop the knife for now. Mm. Well, I need that because obviously I need to use that for the next section. I should have just given it to Clay or um, Rebecca. I don't know why I didn't do that. Guy, okay, I gotta. I really gotta figure out my man, my uh, my item management better while playing this game. That's for sure. I'm so bad about that. Well, luckily it, don't, it doesn't take too long to get back into the same screen as her. At least not in this level, anyway. Although I don't think most of the levels in this game are so huge that it doesn't take you that long to get back. Because the whole idea of the of the uh, um, of the buddy system is you're supposed to be able to get back to a companion pretty quickly if they're in danger for some reason. Uh, otherwise, uh, that would be an impossibility if it, if it was like the whole. Um, uh, if the whole map took too long to get to, you know. It's kind of funny how you see these doors, and the only reason for the door opening and showing them is other than showing, like, a kind of a scary horror aspect of the whole, oh, what's through the door? But it was mainly meant for, like, um, uh, load times, you know, so it could load everything while you're doing it. So let's examine the hunting gun. Or hunting gun. A shotgun used for hunting. There's a design carved on the four stock. This model can only be loaded with two shells at a time. Nice. I'm a fan of the double barrel shotgun. I mean, that has double barrels, but you know what I mean. There's this, They specifically call it the double barrel shotgun. You know. I've actually shot in shotguns uh, in real life. Surprise, surprise. People don't believe me when I say stuff like that, but uh, we actually did some pretty cool things when we were in the Boy Scouts. Yeah, people keep thinking we were wussy, like, camping people or something like that. Although it's hard to talk about that with what's been going on with the, the group recently, but I can't really... I can't really say anything about that just because, Follow me. Yeah. you know, this happened, well, it might even could have happened during my time, but you know what I mean, like, it's not, it's not actively a part of what my experience was, so, so all I can say is I had, I enjoyed myself when I was part of it, but yeah, we, camping, learning to survive, you know, on the thing, shooting, we got to, uh, when we went to a summer camp, we got to shoot weapons and stuff like that, mainly it was black powder stuff, not a very few modern stuff, you had to go to like, you had to be an older um, uh, Boy Scout to do that type of stuff, because obviously they weren't going to give, like, 12-year-olds, like, shotgun, you know. All right, let's uh, open this here. If I have the right card. Do I have the right card? I have the right card. The door is now unlocked. You won't be needing this card anymore. Throw it away! It's worthless like your soul. This is Delta Team. This is Delta Team. We have gained control of the train. Over. Understood. This does not make any sense. How was the T-Virus leaked? And why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. How far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes to... Huh? What happened? Yep, heavy spoilers for those who haven't played Resident Evil 1 or 2. It's like this game is designed to be played after 2. You know, or even three, because that was um, that was uh, Wesker and William Birkin. It's like if you're playing this in order, and you've never played the Resident Evil games so game, uh, before. You're basically this, you've been spoiled from the plot, from the future games. You're like, great. So wait, these guys did these guys just die like right in front of our like like right in front of us, and we didn't take long enough? Or maybe they were just showing a future a scene that happened earlier. The engine chamber is badly damaged. There's no way to fix it. No way. Are you sure? I'm gonna believe you. 
Okay, we'll keep going. So that's why the train started back up again. It was uh, Wesker's goons. The train will either derail or crash. I gotta stop this thing. Well, I mean, I wanted to look at you. I like looking at you, Rebecca, but that's same kind of silly. She didn't even say anything. Anyway, brake manual operation. Using the brake control, the following three steps are necessary to operate the brakes. Step one, activate the controls. Step two, dur. No, brake controls are located in the following locations. First car, driver's compartment, which I believe is where we are, right? Uh, rear deck of the fifth car. To activate the system, you must insert the mag magnetic card into the device in the fifth car. This will supply power to both sets of controls. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, the, um, the other card reader at the back where the hookshot was. That's where that one is. I had to take me a second to remember. Step two. <laughs> Excuse me. Enter rear deck code. Enter the code for the rear deck unit to release the lock. After this, the di driver's compartment code can be entered. Step three. Enter driver's compartment code. Enter the code for the driver's compartment unit to unlock. Uh, upon completion of these three steps, the manual brakes can be used. So... So you had to do the rear deck first, and then the front deck. Yep. And because, and we obviously have to be, who will be staying behind? Mm. <sighs> I mean, we have now. We could just shotgun everything now that we have that. But he doesn't have enough carrying capacity. I'll probably have to drop the knife. Uh, we'll leave Rebecca behind. I'll go over to the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake. Then you apply the brake from here, okay? All right. Billy. What? Be careful. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, we have to do it in three minutes. Well, I, I gotta grab this first. But I can't... Oh, I can't carry it. Great. Okay. Um, let me drop... Yeah, I'll just... Uh, I'll just drop. I'll just leave the knife now. No, don't pick up the knife, you dick. See, there's the bullets. I'm just gonna leave those for now. I'm gonna leave those for Rebecca to take. So, okay. Yes, I want to take the magnetic card so I can actually use the damn thing. Um. Okay, let's examine this. Luckily, time doesn't go on if we go into the pause screen with this. Lock card brake system. Ecliptic Express. What else does it say on it? Uh, Umbrella Company. Yep, there's a spoiler for that. Umbrella. Well, I mean, they pretty much spoil the very beginning of this game. Whatever. But yeah, this is not meant to be played in chronological or number order that's for sure brake system so umbrella owns the train basically I right, got three minutes and luckily with the shotgun most of the stuff can be taken in one shot I usually like to save shotgun for um, um, uh, stuff later on but oh whatever are you kidding me did I fire too early oh my god that blows and I'll just have to somehow save my ammo later. I don't have the knife anymore, so I can't do that. So. I wonder if I can get past him. No! Ah, dang it. I was hoping I would get past him, so I wouldn't have to use, use the ammo. Oh, well. That's my fault. That's a mob, baby. Yeah. Actually, wouldn't it be... I wonder if it'd be safer, because, I mean, what would, uh, going through the top one? Because I don't want to waste ammo and stuff like that. Although it's probably just as much time, but I get three minutes, to, or three and a half minutes to do this, so it's not that bad. Can't believe I got bit. Did I take, did I show any condition differences? No. I think, if, if I remember correctly, Billy can actually take more hits than, uh, Rebecca can, because he's a bit more sturdy. Yeah, Rebecca's supposed to be kind of the light agility type, and Billy's supposed to be the, you know, the tank, basically. I mean, not really a super tank, mind you, just, just the tank in general. Actually, probably just took me about as much time uh, going up here from going down there. Probably didn't even really save me much ammo at all. Can't believe I wasted a shotgun blast. I don't know why. I mean, it's not like I have this on hard mode. If I was on hard mode, I probably would have to worry a bit more about ammo like holding but uh yeah oh it's edward how'd you get here uh 
Yeah, we'll shoot him with it. You know, I don't think I showed it, but, uh... Oh, okay, you have a bit more health than I expected. Alright, sure. But yeah, I think if I had, if I had gone a bit further, it would have shown that Edward's body was, was gone. I'm just gonna miss you, I don't know. The only reason I shot him, that one guy, was because he was, like, right in front of me. Um, but yeah, if I would shown it and not gotten through the door, Edward's body wouldn't have been there, so that's supposed to be the thing of, like, hey, where'd his body go? But, uh, yeah. Didn't shit with you, folks. Sorry. Alright, let's go to the back here. Yeah, see, it's not... I mean, I'm glad they gave you plenty of time, because that'd be kind of stressful if it was like, you only have a minute. I'm like, oh, God. There's an operated break here. You'll need a magnetic car to operate it. Thanks, game. I know that already. Let's use it. Zero zero eight one. You can now you can use this uh, to operate the brake. Okay. Oh, uh, you have to. Oh crap! I forgot that you have a number system here. So, um, I have to do it within three, six, nine. I don't know if you have to do it within the final one, but uh, I think you can only do. Uh, well, can't you just do a bunch of nines and like? Because you have to get to eighty one, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong, then. This is Billy. I've engaged the control device for the brake. Over. Roger. I'll put the brake on now. Oh, now we don't know how much... Well, don't we just remember our number, so... Oh, or do we not know what the original number is because it's broken, so... Would it be just 9, 18, 27, 36? Oh. Oh, well, maybe I have to do all the ones that Billy pressed, which was like 5999 or whatever, but that would be right. Huh. Okay, well, let me grab these bullets really quick. I guess there's nothing else to look at. Whoop, hold on. Isn't there like a card in there? Oh, just more ammo. Okay, cool. Could have used that against a duder. Gotta stop this train fast! Okay, so. Huh. Um. Oh, I guess I have to finish it by that number there. So, let's see. 3, 6, 9, 10. So. Um, 7, 14, 21, um, 25. 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Don't get enough time to uh, take a few seconds to uh, <laughs> to get used to this place. We're like, hey, by the way, uh -oh. Billy's out of ammo. I assume he's out of ammo. Otherwise, he stopped shooting. Oh, he doesn't have the knife anymore. Can I get? I'm just go. I'm just gonna give him the bat so he can at least defend himself if it comes to it. I could probably finish him off though if it comes down to it. 
Yeah, save some bullets there. Whew. Well, it looks like, uh... Oh, I probably could have let Billy finish him off. The AI is probably a bit more competent when it comes to the... Um, oh, there's a lot of the items I dropped. I don't know if it's all of them. Oh, no, it's all of them. Good. Yeah, if, so for those of you who are worried, like, Oh, no, I, I left all those items there. As long as, as far as I know, as long as you pick up and drop all the items that you dropped, um, they're there. I'm trying to remember if there was any item I specifically forgot to pick up and drop. Uh, I think... I think I made sure to drop everything. There might have been like one or two items I forgot to grab, like a, uh, like a health, like a, like a, a, a box of ammo or something like that. But I think you had to pick them up and drop them for it to count. So, all right. Well, it looks like we finally got thrown from this train, whether we wanted to or not. But our adventure is not quite over yet. What is left for Billy and, and uh, Rebecca as they go through the horrors that deal with like all these leeches and stuff? Find out next time in the next episode of Resident Evil Zero. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.